Hi guys, welcome to Empath Joe. Thank you for joining me. I hope this reading resonates for you. Libras, welcome in guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another general reading with myself, Joe, or Empath Joe, if you like. Guys, before we get started on your reading, um, if anybody is wanting a personal reading, then uh, you can book one at empathjoe.com or check the details in the description. I have left links there for you. Let's get into your reading, Libras. Your first card is the Magician. Then we have the High Priestess, the Page of Cups, the Chariot, the Ace of Cups and the Lovers. So, Libras, it seems as if you've had an, an epiphany, a great idea. You're planning on doing something, knowing that you've got all the skills and tools. It's like, as I said, it's like an epiphany. It's just come to you and you know this. And I feel like people have picked up. On the, the, that you're working on something, that you're bringing something to life here, and you're not, you're not, you're not telling them, neighbours. You're not wanting to say much about what you are planning on doing. You're just giving them little bits here with the page of cuts, just little bits. Like, okay, it's, it's you might be saying, yeah, um, it's going to be something really green or something really positive. You're not giving them too much. You're going to show them the progress until you've gone for. You're very confident very happy about this very excited the energy build up yeah um of what you're doing but you're going forth and you're taking action you're making things happen here libras um this is something very dear to your heart i don't feel like this is a person i feel like it's more of a project something you're working towards yeah and not necessarily that you've been on that path Okay, it's more of a things where you were on a path already and then it's just come to you, this idea, this new idea and it's like, pow, I know what I can do. So you're using your initiative to kind of make it your thing. Perhaps you've seen someone doing something and you're recreating that. Um, but yes, not wanting to share your idea with many. Let's move on. Let's get you some more cards. You're going to show them progress. You are going to show them that progress though. But yes, uh, King of Pentacles, Page of Wands and the Justice card. Um, you may have to go through some sort of legal procedure here to get to where you want to do. But I feel like you... Okay, with the Page of Wands, okay, that's... There's something that you are still needing to learn here. And it might be something to do with your emotions, possibly. But there's something that you, you, you're still needing to build a skill here. But whatever it is that you are doing, you... Um, it's going to bring you lots of stability and lots of financial stability as well. It's it's right where you want to be then. <laughs> and it's it's almost like you've, you've only just discovered that's where you want, want to be. Yeah. Um, and the justice card. <laughs> the justice card, as I said, um, you may have to go through some sort of legal procedure here. But um, absolutely will bring a lot of justice, lots of stability to you. We are definitely going to move on. We have the three of swords. And I feel like, as I said, um, you know, there's something that you are still learning here. You are needing to work on something at the same time, Libras. Um, as I previously said, this could be something to do with your emotions because they are scattered at this time. Perhaps um, you're getting over the next, but you've, you've still got this idea and you're still willing to do it. Five of Swords, Empress, yeah. Becoming a CEO, perhaps. Yeah? Perhaps you've had a new job offer. Perhaps that's what you were working for, training to. You um, you heard about it whilst working and thought, you know what, that could suit me quite well. And that's what you're going after. But yes, absolutely, you are... You can totally have this, whether it is your own thing. Perhaps you are starting a new business, but you are needing... There's something you're needing to work on here. You're having very scattered emotions. As I said, especially if this is an ex, then you need to release. You need to let them go. You need to walk away, even possibly with the five of swords. Something needs to change before you can actually step into this. Let's see what that's all about. Um, a few more Libras. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So got, wow. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. And the Emperor. Wow. 
perhaps you're having two choices here, Libra. Yeah? Because we've got the King and Queen of Pentacles. We also have the Emperor and the Empress. And right in between, we have the Eight of Swords. So in a mental prison, scattered emotions. Perhaps you are needing to make a choice. And I do believe, yeah? Applied to your situation, I could be reading this, this story the other way around. Um, perhaps for on one side, one of your choices then. Okay, they are more... They are more financially stable than the other. But the, maybe not. Maybe they're both weighing out in the financial department then. Because the emperor is a boss. Okay, but you are matched to both of them. So it, it must be a difficult, difficult decision. And it doesn't have to be people. This could be um, a job opportunity here. Perhaps you're stuck between the two. You're not sure which one will bring you the most financial stability here. Yeah, I think we'll get you... One more. Ace of Pentacles. As I said, finances. There you go. I'm not even getting any more. The devil. I'm not even sure why the devil's here. But this could be uh, something very toxic that you're doing. As I said, if this is something to do with your emotions and you are not making a choice, then you're definitely needing to do that. Because you have something very, very wonderful coming your way. Libras, I'm definitely getting that energy. But there's something with your emotions that needs to be sorted there. And as the devil's there, I'm definitely, perhaps as a scorpion bow, yeah? Wisdom as light as a feather, little owling. What, what are you seeing that you know? What is this information that you are withholding, Libras? Snake princess, the serpentine path to power. Perhaps you are trying to get away because we've got the snake and they sliver, don't they? They slide around. So you're sliding your way out of a job, a commitment into something much more rewarding. Yeah? We're going to get you an angel card, Libras. Whatever it is. Adventure. Life is an adventure. Be ready for the unexpected and make the most of all opportunity. Opportunities, sorry. The angel wisdom suggests you get out of any habits or ruts in which you are stuck. See what I'm saying? I can feel that stuck energy, Libras. Do things that are different and face life with a sense of wonder. If the path ahead seems dark, do as you would if you were exploring a dark place. Ask your angels to light up the way, then watch for the signs and signals that they tell you where and how to go. Explore the new excitement and courage. Explore new with excitement and courage. These magnetic qualities attract money and career openings and add zest to relationships. The angels are inspiring you to move forward with anticipation, expectancy and hope. And the affirmation says, I feel the adventure of life eagerly. I'm not sure if you can see that, but Libras, that has been your reading. Thank you all for tuning in once again, sending you lots of positive energy. And please do take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't. Do not force anything to fit with your situation. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. And take care until next time.